sit within the IT portfolio, and my role is manager cabinet and technologies. So it's a new role across the universities, it's a relatively new role, and universities acknowledge that nobody goes to the university because there's fantastic technology. They go to the university because there's excellent research and fantastic teaching and learning. So my role is all about enabling those capabilities and making sure that technology supports that. And if I speak really quickly, please tell me because I have a funny accent. And then I speak really quickly. So anyway, so I thought I'd come around and talk to you guys a bit of, about some of the existing technologies because I, when I started, I thought, oh, we have some really good technologies and we can get some good body to be using these things. So I'll walk you through my agenda for today. So we'll go through a bit about Zoom and some of the value it delivers to the university if you use it. Um, Microsoft Office 365, exactly what it is and what value you get from it. What's next? And um, I was just saying to Eva that we're in the process of developing the ICT plan for the next two years. It's called um, Digital Engagement. So it's a two-year plan instead of a five-year plan because technology is changing so quickly. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that and um, some of the new exciting things coming our way. Um, and I put in some time for questions and answers. So Zoom web conferencing. So I'm sure you guys would have all heard about Zoom across the university. Sometimes I talk to people and I go, what's an it? Is it? So basically it's a virtual meeting and classroom engagement tool. Um, it's heavily used in learning and teaching, and because the are a regional university, and we need to make sure we're connecting and collaborating, it's used a lot. It's very efficient, it runs on a web browser. It allows high definition video and high definition audio. When I explain it, I explain it, think about your Netflix or your scan at home. It automatically gives you, depending on your internet connection, a really good quality audio and video um, feed. So it basically depends on the connection. You can connect anywhere, anytime. It's on the web. It can be accessed through your laptop, so long as you're connected to a wireless. Um, through your mobile, your mobile apps to download from the App Store, from the Google Play Store, you need it. One touch start meeting. So basically, it's a link that you send to anybody. It can be internal and external to the university. Business partners, research partners, you name it, local, international. Just send a link to them and they can easily connect it to the session. You don't need to install anything. You don't need any special access to your computer. And as I said, you can meet with anybody, mobile system, and so forth. What I've been doing over the last couple of weeks is some people like to go into a meeting room and you would connect with people on different campuses. You can actually invite your meeting room and use screens through your Zoom session. So it makes it easier and uses the existing technology to work. And it's wireless collaboration, so you do need an internet connection. <coughs> So there is some information online about it. IT is really horrible at change management. So we're in the process of developing a new website to really support people and have a lot of self-service content there for both staff and students so they can access things and help from Zoom on how to use it. So it's a new buzzword, everybody talks about it. What is Office 365? So it's all the Microsoft applications that you know, you've known and loved for many, many years. It's just now online. So it includes Word, Excel, PowerPoint, um, Outlook, and OneNote at the moment. OneDrive has storage. So traditionally, you'd use something like a H drive or K drive when you mark it and you access it to read my computer. And it's a physical shared drive local storage that you share things into your team that you need to ask IT to access and text and the results. With OneDrive, you store everything on cloud. It's secure. 
and you can have multiple people accessing the same document at the same time, so it's real life, real time collaboration. So it's pretty good. Usage rate, surprisingly, across the university is very, very low. And um, I think one of the reasons was because of IT being uh, really horrible at them kind of change management and saying to people, you know what, you need to share a document with somebody, be it internal, external, you can share it, they can have view access, they can have edit access, and so forth. So it's pretty, pretty handy. Yama is part of that, and I all know Vice Chancellor loves Yama. I follow him on um, Yama, and he's very vocal, and it, it's pretty impressive, it's, it's very good. Um, and there's a lot of interest in conversations, so if you don't have a Yama account, I suggest you log in. I'm not very vocal on social media, but I do take in all the information. And again, with Office 365, it's all based, it's all on the internet, so you access it anyway, anytime. So, some of the key features. We spoke about the access anyway, anytime, which is exciting. Um, you do have 25 gigs of mail storage, that's a fair bit. Easy real-time collaboration with the cloud, so as I said, you can collaborate with people within the university, external to the university, it doesn't really matter. You have one terabyte of data storage on one drive, so that's a lot, a lot of uh, storage. And what we've been doing is, IT has been it's technical again, but I mean, they're migrating all the local um, content if you use those local network storage um, storage for the data. They're migrating that onto OneDrive, so they start to that process already. And it's safe. And this is Microsoft's biggest selling point. And this is how they kind of broke into the Australian market. They did something really clever, you know, being Microsoft. So they went and said to all universities, what well, your students you need know, um, Microsoft uh, Office 365 for free? Obviously, universities will sign on to it. It is a really good product, but it's a really huge cost savings from a student perspective. Because they don't need to buy these you know, apps and services. OK, so what's next? So I spoke about the home drive migration. So that's going to happen over the next four months. If you do have content and you're identified as somebody that you migrated, I just want to go out and work for you. Um, I was told that the information will go to the cloud. You'll be engaged by email and you know, who we will engage you say, hey, I'm going to migrate your content and this is how you access it. Also. Project online. So I'm Microsoft Project is really and, and if you're OCD like myself. You do, I have a project management background and I love having things, having project plans and plans to document things. So um, Project Online is now so much easier. It's the same version of Microsoft Project you run on your laptop. And you can use it for a multitude of things. You can use it for both projects and activities. But you can also use it for home activities like me when I was moving houses when we first bought a house. Everything was on there, and it was really good and easy to manage and keep my husband in line. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Skype for Business. Now, Skype for Business is really exciting because this is a relatively new product. And from a user perspective, it's very rich in functionality. It's a very similar functionality to Skype, except it's very corporate. So you can actually um, easily connect with people Again, with video and audio, um, or conferencing, but it also allows a large amount of people to join the session, which is really, really powerful because think about the Vice Chancellor doing a session here in Bandura um, and that can be streamed in real time to um, to guys in Benigo and over with and the viewers. So those are some of these things. There are a lot of innovative things coming and I was saying this to Ava earlier. We're still trying to figure out how we're going to progress that. And Ava and I are going to be connecting a lot early next year and throughout the year to make sure that we're supporting each other and we're at least really enabling good capabilities to be 
I have a bit of some vested interest in, in research as well because of my husband's an academic. <coughs> so I do understand researchers, I do understand the pain points, and I do understand it. So that's it for me. Are we saving questions to the end? Yes, I'll stick around. Thank you. Thank you. 